driver to voluntarily evacuate. Emergency personnel say it's a quote life threatening situation. 12 News reporter live this morning, uh, 12 News reporter Leah Durain live this morning in Deweyville with a look at the already deep water that's only going to get higher. Good morning, Leah. Hi, Greg. I am in Deweyville, just a matter of yards from the boat ramp, and we kind of checked out conditions down there just a few minutes ago. It's pretty dark, um, right about six o'clock, but several people were stopping by to kind of look at the river levels as well. What we could make out is that the water was just under the low part of that Sabine River Bridge here. Now one gentleman who stopped by, he said that he's worried for his parents. They live along the Sabine River and they are expecting four to five feet of water by the time that that river crests next week. Now the National Weather Service is forecasting a potentially catastrophic flooding event here in Deweyville. The Sabine River expected to peak Wednesday at 33.5 feet. Now it's an all time high, more than a foot over the 1884 record of 32.2 feet. Newton County Precinct 4 Commissioner Leonard Powell says there's a voluntary evacuation in place for everyone along the Sabine River here in Newton County. He urges everyone not to hesitate contacting the Sheriff's Office or other county officials if they do need help getting out of their homes. If anyone needs help, we'll get them help. If they call my office or the judge's office or the Sheriff's Office. Sandbag materials are available 24 hours a day off Spur 272 in Deweyville near Highway 12 across the street from the Precinct 4 sub courthouse. Now I just checked uh, those river levels through the National Weather Service's website. You can Google that Deweyville uh, Sabine River levels and it's showing that the current levels they measured about uh, 445 this morning. It was at 24 feet 0.17 and that is the 0.17 above flood stage. 24 feet is that flood stage, so they're already above that this morning. Um, but so far, um, the river definitely continuing to rise. As for the weather, we only got some sprinkles on the drive here to Deweyville. Um, we didn't see too many high water areas along, say, Highway 12. Um, but some of those roadways off of Highway 12 were still blocked off this morning. Reporting live in Deweyville, Leah Durain, 12 News. Yeah, Leah, not seeing a lot of traffic behind you there, so I can imagine people are uh, heeding those warnings and staying off the road, uh, as we hope they're doing. We appreciate that. Now, the evacuations right now are only voluntary, but if you do choose to leave your home, one location already taking in evacuees is First Baptist Church in Kirbyville. It's just off West Main Street. 